Hi, Jeff Novak here reporting about the devastating disaster in Haiti near the capital port of Al Prince. Recently an earthquake with a magnitude of 7.0, the largest one in 200 years, has hit the third world country of Haiti, destroyed its capital along with its people. The damage is unbelievable. Buildings have collapsed and buried people in the rubble. Along with that, people are homeless and living on the streets. The capital building has fallen along with the UN building. The streets are havoc and in need of order. The crews that came out to unburden the people have come out, but they don't have enough supplies to uncover the people in time. Let's go to Steph Golters, our expert on, place, on plate tectonics. So Steph, why was this earthquake so devastating? It's surrounded on three sides by two other plates, by the North American plate and also by the South American plate. Now the problem really is that the North and the South American plate are all trying to move west in relation to the Caribbean plate. So that's the problem. Now there's three different types of earthquake. There's the divergent one where they move apart, the two plates. There's the convergent one where they move together. And there's also the transform one where they just split apart. So they sort of grind together. Now the problem we've got here is in the east of the Caribbean plate, obviously they're moving together, so you'll have convergence. But around Haiti, that's where we have just the transform plate. So these two plates are grinding together. The quake itself is not the thing that is the big problem. Earthquakes of this magnitude have been reported with much more minimal damage. This strong earthquake in such a small country wiped out most of the country's infrastructure and destroyed homes of about half the po population and government buildings. <coughs> to make matters worse, the country of Haiti cannot support itself well enough through these troubled times and people don't have enough money to buy themselves food. Well, Jeff, over the years, Haiti has suffered a long and hard life of brutal rulers. It was occupied from U.S. soldiers from 1914 to 1934, and then after that, too. From 1957 to 1986, it was mercilessly ruled by the corrupted Francois Duvalier and his son, Jean-Claude. The U.S. played a part yet again when they removed a military government in 1990. Now we go to one of our American Red Cross correspondents, Jake Chen. Jake, what's the word and what can be done to help the people in Haiti? Thanks, Jeff. Some of the ways that you can help Haiti include donating money to the American Red Cross, which will be directly contributed to the Haiti Relief Fund. A very simple way to do this is to text the word Haiti to 90999, which will automatically contribute $10 to the American Red Cross Haiti Fund. You can also send food and water directly to Haiti and other organizations. 1.5 million people homeless, and tens of thousands of people are without food, water, and medical supplies. Now the U.S. is trying, along with many other very hardworking countries, to get all of these things and more into Haiti. But since the earthquake was so strong, it makes it hard to get these things, along with people, planes, cars, and boats into Haiti. Some of the obstacles with getting these items in are not being able to unload the supplies onto tracks because you can't drive onto the road without much trouble. Road carters are heavy with traffic, so traveling takes hours, said Mrs. Byers of the UN. Planes are also not able to get into the airports without struggle. Their airports have been damaged, but not to the extent where they are unable to be used. Many planes are backing up at the ports, so ports even in the Dominican Republic have to be used. This is a very rough time for the Haitians of Hispaniola.